I'm willing to bet that you and I have a few key things in common. We're passionate about all things retro. We love retro systems, we love retro games, we love retro knickknacks and gadgets aplenty. Your friends, your family, they also know about your addiction, I mean your passion, so they're buying you retro things all of the time. I mean, I have to buy my own socks now because nobody is gifting them to me for Christmas anymore. Just all this retro stuff. And you know what? I love it, and I know you do too. But as much as I love all that other retro stuff, the thing that I love the most are my retro handhelds. Sometimes I just get in there and I... <laughs> and if you're like me, you partake in the particular pleasures of picking and personalizing your portfolio platforms and retro video games. Which means you like to customize your collection of games using a front end. A front end, like Reset Collection. Now, another thing that we have in common is that our time here is limited and we have so much we want to do. We don't have the time or energy to search for images on our desktop computers and then having to connect our device with a USB cord that refuses to go in or try to battle with an RP2 Plus to get the micro SD card out of the slot compartment made only for the tiny fingers of Navi. Hey! Wouldn't it be awesome to have a nice, delightful, and quick way to search for, download, and set new images for your retro games on an Android device, such as the AYN Odin or Galaxy Z Fold phone, or even an Nvidia Shield running Android TV, and to be able to do all of this from within your front end app? Wouldn't you want a feature like that? I know your answer, and so does the Want Some Rye guy. Want some rye? Of course you do. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how the latest update of Reset Collection lets you search for, download, and set new images for your retro games collection, all from within the Reset Collection app. You're going to love it, and it's going to be a hoot. <laughs> it's gonna be a who says that by the way make sure to stick around to the end of the video where i'm going to show you another new feature for reset collection this one's a little bit experimental but it's gonna allow you to create unique images for your collection such as these being shown right now all right so what do you say we go do this thing and we'll go and uh, have a hoot like the kids say i'm sure that's what they say and I'm gonna show you how you can do all of this from within Reset Collection. Let's go. Okay, retro gamers, the first thing you want to do is start Reset Collection. Next, go to your system or games menu by long pressing on the box art and selecting New Image Search and Download. This will bring you to this screen where you will have a few options for searching for new images that you can download and set for your game or systems box art, backdrop, logo, or banner. The options are Scraper, Yahoo Images, and AI by Microsoft. A description of each option can be found here when selecting that option. At the top, you have some options for filtering for the type of image you're searching for. You've got box art, you've got backdrops, which also includes screenshots, and logos. You can also select the All button to not have any sort of filter. <laughs> all right, pretty cool. So let's get started with Scraper. I'm going to start by changing out all of the artwork from my Android system using the images found using the Scraper. I'm going to go to my system menu and select new image search and download and select scraper. I'm then shown a list of Android system images. I want to download and set images for the backdrop system and the logo. So let's start with the box art. I'm going to go over here, select scraper and pick the image that talks to me. I'm going to go with the Nvidia shield image just because it looks really cool. 
And now you have the option to download the image, which will only download the image and add it to the media collection for this system. Or you can select the streamlined option of download and set, which will let you download and set the game to an art type in one go. I'm going to go with download and set. Next, I'll select box art to set this image as the Android systems box art. Now I wanna download a new image for the backdrop. So I'm gonna find an image that I wanna use as my backdrop, and then I'm gonna select it and then select download and set, and then select backdrop. Now I want to set the logo. So I find the logo that I want to use. I select that and then select download and set and select logo. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now when you go back, you'll see that you'll have all of the images you downloaded set and ready to show off. Next, let's take a look at searching for images using Yahoo images. <laughs> For this, I'm gonna to go to one of my favorite games that I played when I was a child called Alien Syndrome for the Sega Master System. After scraping this game, the logo just didn't look very good with the black background of Reset Collection. So we're going to look for a new logo using Yahoo Images. I'm going to go to the game menu for Alien Syndrome, select new image search and download. And since I want to look specifically for logos, I want to filter my search results to only logos. To do this, I'll go to the filter option at the top and select logos. Then I'll select Yahoo Images to do an image search for Alien Syndrome logos. I get quite a selection of logos in the results, but I'm going to go with this one right here. I've played this game for over 35 years now, and I had never noticed till recently that the logo is shaped like an alien. You have the alien head up here with the mouth and eye, and then the body going along down to a tail over here. And then you have multiple arms and claws right here. Pretty rad. Okay, so let's download and set this logo for Alien Syndrome. Very rad. Okay, so let's say you want to search for a specific image using Yahoo Images. I'm going to show you how you can do that right now. Over here, we have the game Choplifter, and in my head, I can remember this really cool image from the 1990 movie with Nicolas Cage and Tommy Lee Jones called Firebirds. And I mean, how can you go wrong? This movie was awesome. Nicolas Cage. Tommy Lee Jones, hamming it up, helicopters. So to look for that image that I'm thinking of, I would want to do a custom search. I'm going to do this by first going into the Choplifter game menu, selecting new image search and download. And now, while I have Yahoo Images selected, I'm going to do a long press on the gamepad action button, or I can also do a long press by touching Yahoo Images here. This will bring up a text field where I can enter a search query. I can remember that Firebird image having like an epic sunset in the background. So I'm gonna enter Firebird Movie Sunset Helicopter and then select search. This will return a list of image results for my custom search. Now let's find an image that will look totally rad in my collection for the game Choplifter. All right, so I'm taking a look for a really cool image. Let's see if we can find something really awesome. Okay, it's got to be this one, right? I mean, with Nicolas Cage just looking so... <sighs> but uh, I, don't think my, I don't think my Android device can handle it. I don't think any Android device can handle it. So let's let's look for a different image. Goodbye, Nick. Um, let's just go with this one. I think this is the classic Firebirds image. So I'm going to select download, download and set, and then I'm going to select backdrop. And then I'm going to go back and bam. Got that sunset backdrop for the game Choplifter. And just for good measure, let's change out that logo because that logo is just not really... I'm just not really feeling it. So if I go in here, look around for a logo. I'm not really finding a logo here that I like as well. So let's check Yahoo Images. So I selected the logos filter at the top, selected Yahoo Images. And, oh, which one should I get? This one or this one or this one? I don't know. I just can't, I just, I'm just gonna go with this one. I'm going to go with this one, but if I want to do something different later, super easy to do later. I mean, I could just go back and change it out later, but I'm going to go with this one for now. So select it, select logo, 
and bam, there we go. And now I get to sit back and admire the new image that I selected for the backdrop to Choplifter as well as the new logo. And while I really wish I was looking at Nicolas Cage right now, I just don't think I'd be able to handle it. I don't think I'd be getting very much uh, video gaming in. So this is going to have to do. This will do. Okay, so next let's talk about how you can have images created for your retro games collection using an AI image generator and how you can do all of this from within the Reset Collection app. Now there's some info that I'd like to share about this feature and I'm sure there are some questions that you have. But I do wanna keep this video moving and get to showing you all of these images and how to create these images and the kind of prompts that I like to use. So what I'm gonna do is put the relevant information and answers to any questions into the description of this video down below. This way too, if any new questions come up, I can just update the description with the answers to those questions. Okay, so now let's check out how we can create some images using the Bing <laughs> image creator, all from within Reset Collection, and then set those images as the backdrops to your retro games. Now a type of backdrop that I like to use is uh, like that really cinematic shot with your character really well lit with uh, contrasting lights and shadows. You see shots like these in a lot of Christopher Nolan movies. So let's try to create an image with this type of cinematic shot. So a game that's in my collection that I think would be perfect for this type of cinematic shot is Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. So something I'm going to do to scroll quickly to Mike Tyson's Punch-Out is go to the systems menu, select scroll to, and then select the letter M. And then scroll over a few to Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I'm going to go into the game menu, select new image, search and download, and then go to AI by Microsoft. Next, I'm going to long press on AI by Microsoft, which will bring up a web view that loads the Bing Image Creator web page. Next, you're gonna log in with your Microsoft account. Okay, so let me pause there for one second and invite you to please go to read the Reset Collection Data Privacy Policy, which I'm going to leave a link to in the description below. The quick sum of it is that Reset Collection does not scan or retain any of your Microsoft login or account information. What you're seeing here is basically the Chrome browser opened within the Reset Collection app. So I'm going to tap on Join and Create. So here we are running into an issue that you might also run into while using this uh, experimental feature. If this happens where the login page refuses to load, just restart the Reset Collection app, and the next time you go to log in to your Microsoft account, you should get to the sign-in page. All right, so that worked, and now I'm going to sign in with my Microsoft account. Once I get signed in, the first thing I like to do is hit that hamburger icon and change the theme to dark. Okay, so the first step of creating an image is to come up with the right prompt to get you the desired image you're looking for. So you can think of the prompt as the instructions that you give the image creator and the image creator will respond to your prompt with an image representation of those instructions. So let's try to come up with a prompt for getting a cinematic image in the style of Christopher Nolan movies for Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. So I'm going to enter Cinematic Still, filmed by Christopher Nolan, Mike Tyson wearing black shorts and red boxing gloves, standing in the center of a boxing ring, wide angle. And then I'm going to tap on Create. The image creation process will begin, and then after a few seconds, the images will display, and you'll see a little message pop up that says, added image to Mike Tyson, or the title of whatever game you're creating images for. Now, to see the images that were created, exit the web view, and then click on AI by Microsoft. You can then select one of the images that was created, and we can download and set it as the backdrop of the game. Okay, let's talk about prompts for a second. Prompting is a game within itself. There's a bit of a learning curve to writing a good prompt that will get you what you're looking for. But that challenge definitely makes it very satisfying when you write a prompt 
that gets you a really good result that exceeds your expectations. I would suggest going out there and searching on your search engine of choice, how to write AI art prompts with examples. One thing to note, as you power up your prompt writing skills, you'll most likely start writing longer and longer prompts. And I don't know about you, but me, I'm pretty clumsy with typing with my thumbs. So if you're like me, an old millennial that can't keep up with the Gen Zers and their quick thumbs, I'm gonna show you how we can do this using a keyboard. I already know that the next game I want to make a backdrop for is Echo the Dolphin, just one of my most favorite games. So for the type of image that I want for Echo the Dolphin, do you remember walking through the malls, I'm talking like decades ago, and seeing those art stores with the really cheesy posters, with the terrible metallic frames, really colorful, and they always seem to have uh, paintings of oceans. This, this is what I really want for Echo the Dolphin. I really wish those stores still existed. So to recapture a bit of this nostalgia, I'm going to prompt for an image of a dolphin in this style. And I'm going to do it at my desktop because I think it's gonna take a bit of a longer prompt. So go ahead, put your device down and go over to your computer with its keyboard. Go to the Bing image creator on your computer's browser and log in with the same Microsoft account you logged in with on your Android device. Then create some images here in your browser, writing prompts with your keyboard blazingly fast thanks to Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing. So here in my browser, I'm going to type out, create a mall art painting of a dolphin jumping out of the ocean. Colorful ocean backdrop with a cloudy sky reflecting the colors of a sunset. Enhance the details of the dolphin's body to make it look shiny and sleek. After entering that, I'll click on create. And while that's being created, I'm going to go back to my Odin, start up reset collection, go over to echo the dolphin, navigate to AI by Microsoft, and once I'm in the Bing image creator, I'm going to click on the tab button called Creations, which will show me all of the images that have been created. Reset Collection will then add these images as creations for Echo the Dolphin for me to browse and download and set if I so choose. Whoa, check out that art. That is rad. You know what? I think I want to use one of these images for Echo the Dolphin, the Tides of Time as well. I'm going to go into the new image search and download for Tides of Time and click on AI by Microsoft. I met with the warning that no images were found for this game. That's because the created images were added to the first Echo the Dolphin game. But we can still access those images and also all the other images that have been created by clicking on show all AI generated images. If I do this, I can browse any of the images that I've already created and added to any of the games in Reset Collection. If I wanted to add any of these images to Echo the Dolphin Tides of Time, I can long press on one of these images and select Add Image. This will make it so that when I select on AI by Microsoft for this game, I only see the image that I added. Conversely, if you ever find yourself adding images to a game that don't belong to that game, you can long press on that image and select remove image. Let's download and set this image for Echo the Dolphin, the Tides of Time. All right, awesome. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video, but before we go, I do want to talk about Silverdesk. Silverdesk created the boot up music for Reset Collection, the background music for Reset Collection, and what you're listening to right now is the radio version of Reset Collection. So you should definitely go check that out. I'll put a link to it in the description below, but I do wanna play us out with this song. So here it is, Silverdesk's Reset Collection tune.